All right, so we're going to upgrade Nutanix firmware here. Um, we're going to start by going to the Home tab, drop down, and get the LCM. And under Updates here, I have firmware, and it says three. That's because I have three nodes that each need up to be updated. It tells the version underneath the node. There's the version that's already on there if you click on Inventory. And if we go back to the Updates here, Update Firmware, and you can see that's the new version. And you can do all of them, which I prefer not to do. So I'm going to choose one. I'm going to do an upgrade plan. And here it tells you what version you're coming from or have installed and where it's going to. And you can see I have HPE hardware here. Uh, you might, yours might be different. And then I'm going to apply it when I'm sure this is what I want to do. And it's going to apply the update. Uh, this part will take a while. It'll do a pre-check and, and does some stuff here. It takes a bit before it starts installing the update. Uh, I found the process to take approximately about an hour. Uh, it might take longer depending on how, how far back you are in your updates. I've seen HPE updates go for um, an hour and a half. Um, but if you're on top of your updates, uh, you'll clock in around close to an hour per node. So plan your time accordingly. I usually, I usually say about two hours per node, just to buffer the time in case there's some hidden gotchas. So still doing the pre-checks here. Um, as, as long as you have uh, available resources here, nothing should go offline. You can just update everything during you know work hours, which is what I do. I only have a three node cluster here. Um, this is one of my two clusters. So it's downloading here. Um, it hasn't started the upgrade process yet. I'm not gonna make you sit through the whole thing. I just wanna show you as it gets kicked off. So now here we go. We got the update firmware option. It's doing the update. Uh, it's pretty straightforward at this point. There's nothing you got to do except keep an eye on it. And by the time it's done, everything will be checked off green, hopefully. And we're going to fast forward some of this here. All right, here we go. Now we're 100% done. Everything's checked off green. Looks good. So now we're going to return to the updates here. And there's nothing there. So let's go to firmware. It's only showing two now. So I got two nodes that still need to be updated. And we can verify that the other node is done already if you want. Just by clicking on inventory again. And you can see node one here, it has the higher version of the SPP. Go back to firmware under updates and rinse and repeat. We're gonna to update to the new version of this one. And if you click in there and get the little drop down, you can see all the components that is updated. I should have showed you this first round, but I didn't. So I'm showing it now. Close out of this when you're ready. Do the upgrade plan again. And say apply. When all is done, you shouldn't have any updates. So if you go LCM, there's nothing there. Under updates, firmware, and there's nothing there. So that just means there's no available updates for you, unless you're at a dark site, which I can go over in a different video. But for now, you can see we are current on our SPP. Um, do another video later on how to update the software, but this is just for the, the firmware at this point. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.